Hello, friends. Today we'll learn about the germs. Germs are very small living things. They're so tiny that you need to use a microscope to see them. They may destroy or damage healthy cells. As the germs use up your energy and nutrients, they may produce toxins. Some toxins cause the common colds or flu-like infections, such as sneezing, coughing, and diarrhea. Some other toxins can cause high fever, increased heart rate, low blood pressure, and even life-threatening illness. Hmm. By looking at the samples of blood, urine, and other fluids under a microscope, doctors can tell which germs are living in the body and how they're making you infected or sick. Then they prescribe medicines accordingly. There are four types of germs. They are bacteria, viruses, protozoans, and fungi. Let's learn about these one by one. Bacteria. They're tiny, single-celled organisms that get nutrients from their environments. Some gut bacteria are good for the body as they help keep the digestive system in working order and prevent harmful bacteria. Some bacteria are used to produce vaccines and medicines. Lactobacillus bacteria is used in making yogurt. Bacteria can cause trouble too. For example, ear infections, cavities, urinary tract infections, and strep throat. Antibiotics are used to treat the bacterial infections. Viruses. Viruses are microscopic parasites generally much smaller than the bacteria. They lack the capacity to reproduce and thrive outside of a host body. Viruses <laughs> cause colds, flu, chicken pox, measles, etc. Some viruses are very harmful. For example, novel coronavirus that causes COVID-19. Antibiotics are not effective against viruses. Vaccines can help prevent you from getting many viral diseases. Fungi. These are multi-celled plant-like organisms. There are two main types of fungi. First one is environmental fungi which are yeast and mold that often live in soil and don't usually cause infection. The other one is commensals, which live on and in the body and generally don't hurt. Mild fungal skin diseases sometimes look like a rash and are very common. Generally, fungi are slower to mutate, so they're much easier to target with antifungal medications. Protozoa. These are typically microscopic, single-celled organisms. Protozoa love moisture, so intestinal infections and other diseases they cause are generally spread through contaminated water. Some protozoa are parasites, so they need to live on or in another organism to survive. For example, the protozoa which causes malaria grows inside the red blood cells. You can prevent germ infections through simple tactics, such as washing your hands regularly, avoiding close contact with people who are sick, cleaning surfaces that are touched often, avoiding contaminated water and food, getting vaccinations, and taking appropriate medications. Now, you know a lot about germs. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.